As you guys might have noticed, a lot of content lately has been about 3D printing, showing you guys how these machines work, how capable these machines are, how easy it is, and pretty much how well these parts turn out and usable they are for scale modeling. Recently, I've also been contacted by Resion to test out their M70 resin to show you guys what you can do with this resin, the parts that come out of it, and even do a small project with the part that came out from this resin. So let's get into it. So I have been testing some parts on both of my 3D printers, the Elegoo and the Anycubic. Both work the same, and the outcome is pretty much identical as well. So let's go over a couple of parts that I got out of these. These are really crisp parts. The color is all the same. It's a sort of a uh, pinkish salmon color. The parts are really strong and the detail that is captured in these is really nice. As you can see, the edges are super clean and it doesn't really require any cleanup apart from, of course, where the sprues mount up to the parts or the supports in this case. They need to be cut off and just easily sanded away. Now, of course, you know me, I'm mostly into my cars and I mostly build cars, pretty much only build cars. Maybe I'll do some other stuff in the future. But if you are a figure detailer, modeler, or just painter in any case, this is, of course, also really cool. There are lots of files online. I found this one uh, from Doctor Strange. It's, of course, Benedict Cumberbatch, and uh, this is just his head. You can print the entire figure, but you just need to find the file, of course. Again, it does have a couple of the supports left in it. These need to be cut off and cleaned up a bit more, but in general, you can see that details are captured really well. So, like I mentioned, I also did a small project. I printed out a Desert Eagle on the Elegoo Mars, and then afterwards I uh, just cleaned up the print a little bit and started painting it. So, let's jump in that process. I found the file on Thingiverse. There will be a link in the description down below. Loaded it into the 3D program, added some supports, and started printing. After about five hours of printing, it was completed. I could remove it from the build plate itself and start the cleanup process. Once removed from the build plate, I put it into the container of alcohol and started cleaning it up with the anticubic wash and cure station. With the washing stage now completed, I needed to let it fully dry out so that there were no wet spots of alcohol left on the print and then could carefully start removing all the supports and move on to the curing stage. Just putting it into the cure station for a couple minutes to fully harden and then could start working on it to complete the build. Now there are some nasty spots left over where these supports were attached to the print. This of course was cut off and now can be cleaned up with a bit of sanding. Now luckily this resin sands really really easily. It's pretty similar to plastic, just a bit of sanding. and It pretty much removes all of those marks and also some of the print lines. Since I printed on 0.05 millimeters, there are a few print lines, but with this resin that really isn't that big of a deal as it sands out really easily and leaves a super smooth finish. Now there are also some other options by just cutting it off with a super sharp hobby knife. This also cleans up the uh, resin really easily. It is really nicely scrapable and cuts off the parts without any hassle whatsoever. So after a bit of scraping, the part is nicely smoothed out and those imperfections are removed. A bit of sanding and you're pretty much ready to go. On the top section, there was also, a, let's just call it a panel line for now, which wasn't really as deep and wide as I wanted it to and would pretty much disappear after a couple coats of paint. Now, this wasn't a imperfection in the print itself, but actually in the file. It wasn't really clearly uh, marked out in the file and therefore just disappeared a bit after printing. So I just scribed out the line with the panel line scriber, which was really easy. Again, it doesn't really grab into the resin, it just leaves a really clean mark. With all of the prepping now completed, I could move on to giving the entire print a nice sand to remove any more layer lines that might have been visible and also to give it a nice grab for the primer. 
This was done with a 400 grit. I then cleaned it off and moved on to the spray booth and started with primer. The primer I'm using is a Tamiya Gray Primer. This is their liquid surface primer, thinned down a little bit with some lacquer thinner from Tamiya as well, and then applied in multiple thin coats. After that was fully cured, about 30 minutes later, I moved on to applying a semi-gloss black from Zero Paints. After a couple coats of semi-gloss black, I was really happy with the sheen that applied to the gun itself, and then let that cure and moved on to applying some chrome from Zero Paints as well. Now the chrome would be a bit shinier if the undercoat was gloss black, but I decided to go for a bit of a semi-gloss matte finish on the metal itself, so the semi-gloss black was perfect for that. I let this cure overnight and then the next day moved on to masking off the sections that I wanted to keep in this metal finish and the other sections of course which I wanted to paint black were unmasked. After completing the masking, I moved back into the spray booth and started applying some matte black to the unmasked areas. A couple coats of matte black later and I could carefully start unmasking it, then let it cure overnight again to start masking again for the handle section which I painted in a textured black to give it a bit of a grippy look. Then again it could be unmasked and this build is complete for now. So overall I'm really happy with the resin that was sent out to me. It worked really well at a 0.05 layer height and about 3 seconds of cure time per layer in the print itself. If you're interested in checking out this resin, I will leave links in the description down below, and I'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of these prints turned into some builds, let me know what you want to see me print and build in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can make a video about that in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.